So Catherine and I thought it would be fun to go to Red Lobster and order the most expensive seafood on the menu. So here's the menu. It starts with starters. They got stuffed mushrooms and a lobster and langostino pizza, calamari, mozzarella sticks. There's pastas and bowls. Of course, seafood here from the sea and the seafood combinations. And this is where we're gonna find the most expensive seafood. And we just got the famous Cheddar Bay Biscuits. These are probably the most famous food at Red Lobster. They are complimentary and unlimited. Ooh, these are like super light feeling. It's almost lighter than air. Oh, it's really pillowy soft. See that? Just very tender, very delicate. I can feel how delicate it is in my hands. I don't have any butter or anything, so I don't think we need it. Mm. Now, at Red Lobster, you can pick your own lobster. There are tanks right out front when you walk in. You can pick your own live main lobster to cook. It's market price, and today the market price is $37.99. But $37.99 still is not the most expensive seafood on the menu. That would be the ultimate feast for $45.99. That's what we're gonna get. We're also gonna be getting the Bar Harbor Lobster Bake, which is a pasta with lobster tails and shrimp and bay scallops and mussels. And we're starting with the shrimp cocktail. It's the signature Jumbo Shrimp Cocktail with cocktail sauce. This is $13.29 and you can see there are six shrimp here for us to That's share. That's right. Let's try this Jumbo Shrimp Cocktail. I'll take these two to start. We'll try it with some cocktail sauce, of course. Sweet. Fresh, icy cold, with a nice hit from the cocktail sauce. Oh, it's great. Perfect starter. Squeeze a little lemon, too. Yeah. Cocktail sauce, a little spicy, I like it. All right, we got our lobster and langostino pizza. This is $17.29 and it has Maine, Norway, and langostino lobster with mozzarella, parmesan, fresh tomatoes, and sweet basil. Wow. This looks great. Ooh, this is a very thin crust, almost like a flatbread. Almost like a cracker crust, almost like, wait, let's put that here. Really got great flavor from the tomatoes and basil first, but there's a good saltiness from the parm, and there's some crushed creaminess from the mozzarella. But I've got to try this big piece of lobster right here. Mm, mm -hmm, mm. 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 It smells like seafood and it tastes like seafood <laughs> on a pizza. We just got our second basket of Cheddar Bay Biscuits. Again, they're unlimited and complimentary here at Red Lobster. Let me grab this top one here. Oh, they're really hot, like nice and fresh. Oh, pillowy soft. Mm. Mm. Really good. You don't need any butter. Mm. We got one more thing too. We got your side Caesar salad for your ultimate beast. And this is one of the sides you can choose right here. And there's, there's some extra premium and toppings that you can get for additional charges. And the Caesar salad has croutons, shaved Parmesan, lettuce, and the Caesar salad dressing.
It's a good Caesar salad. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's great. Thank you so much. Ultimate. Did you get a salad with this? I did. Yes, perfect. Thank Make you. Sure you got your yes, salad. thank you so much. I'll be right back with some crackers for those snow cap. Okay, okay, thanks. This is the most expensive seafood at Red Lobster. It's the ultimate feast, and it's $45.99. This is the ultimate feast, and it has a tender Maine lobster tail, snow crab legs, garlic shrimp scampi, and Walt's favorite shrimp. All right, and you got the Bar Harbor lobster bake. I did. It looks great. It smells great. This has a petite Maine lobster tail. Actually, tails, plural. You can see at least one, two, three here. Split and steamed with shrimp, base scallops, mussels, and fresh tomatoes over linguine in a garlic and white wine broth. And the price? The price is $40.99. Well, let's get started with this. I'm going to start with squeezing this little lemon slice over everything. I love this. And it came in on a little fork to use for eating all the seafood. Let's try this petite main lobster tail. Mm. Mm. That is a really nice flavor. I can still taste the lobster tail, but this garlic and white wine broth has a lot of good flavor with it as well. It's good seasoning. It's not salty at all. It's definitely not overly salty or salty, too salty. It's really good flavor. I can still taste the meat, but the flavors of that broth really come through too. All right, let's try Walt's favorite shrimp. That is so light and crispy. Mmm, big shrimp flavor. Mmm, garlic shrimp scampi. Mmm, super tender and super buttery. Mmm, completely different than Walt's favorite shrimp. All right, let's try to get out this lobster tail. Ooh, yeah. Wow. All right, there it is. The lobster tail at Red Lobster. Let's just try a bite right here. You know what this needs? What's butter. <laughs> You've got some. And I have some butter right here. Try that. Mmm. Oh. Oh. Mm. That's a buttery lobster tail. <laughs> This Bar Harbor lobster bake is so full of seafood. I mean, I just had a petite main lobster tail, and I have a mussel now, they have shrimp, and there's base scallops, and I, there's linguine underneath all of this. But let's just try this mussel first. Let's put it open. That looks great. That came out really easily. Mmm. Very good flavor on the mussel. Still very fresh, but it's getting a lot of that flavor too from the garlic white wine broth. Oh, that's really, that's really good. I really like that. Now let's see how this shrimp tastes. I see a lot of seasoning on that already. Let's give this a try. Mm. Very little well, sweet. Very fresh, a little sweet. Again, picks up really good flavor from the garlic and white wine broth. Totally different flavor from the mussel and the lobster tail, of course. But all the seafood, it's so much seafood to try. I still have one more. It's this bay scallop. Look, you can see there are a lot of bay scallops yeah. in this dish. They're just <laughs> scattered everywhere. Let's try this little one right now. Mm, mm. 
really fresh, great flavor again from the broth. Not salty. I mean, I know, I know I said that before, but I'm, I'm really impressed with how well seasoned this dish is. It's, I can still taste the flavor of the broth itself. It doesn't taste overly salted at all. So I can still taste the seafood. Let's not forget, there's linguine underneath all this seafood in this lobster bake. Yeah. It's a pasta dish. It's a pasta dish. There's a lot of linguine in this as well. Mm. Mm. Okay. It's a great way to carry that sauce in the broth. Oh, it tastes great too. This is really nice. Perfect texture. Really happy with this dish. All right, now we have the snow crab legs. Oh my gosh, that is very impressive. Yes, let's see if I can get into this. That's a hard shell. All right, let's try this. This has the big claw on it too. Yeah. That's... <clears throat> All right. Okay, uh, I think. Maybe. Good. It does. And, of course, butter. Yes. Mm. That's even more tender than the lobster. That is super tasty. This is the ultimate feast at Red Lobster, and it it is the ultimate. It's the ultimate hard seafood to open, but <laughs> it definitely tastes the best. So you want to try? There's one more crab leg here. You want to see how you can do with that one? <laughs> I'll do my best. Okay. Let's see. Let's crack here. Let's pull out that. It wants to, it wants to come out. Yeah, you got it, you got it. Got it. There, I got it. Mm. That's a really good crab, baby. That's a really great flavor. Yeah. Mm. So we have a lot of food to eat here, a lot of seafood, including the most expensive seafood at Red Lobster. So we're going to eat it, and then we're gonna get some dessert. All right, <laughs> that was a lot of food. We can have some to take home, mm -hmm. but we gotta have some dessert before we go. And these are the desserts. Chocolate wave, vanilla bean cheesecake, Meyer lemon cake, and brownie overboard. Oh, thank you. Oh, hey, thank you very thank much. You. You're welcome, guys. I will come back when you Okay, lecture. thank you. Wow, and this is the dessert. Yeah, this is the brownie overload. I like that it's in a margarita glass. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Yeah, so the, that looks great. And this is the vanilla bean cheesecake. Yes. All right, you want to tell us exactly how these are described on the menu? I'd love to. I'd love to. The first dessert here is the brownie overboard. And it is warm brownie wedges served with a scoop of vanilla ice cream with caramel fudge and whipped cream. This is $9.99. Nice. Yes. Okay. And then the next dessert here we have is the vanilla bean cheesecake. It's on a vanilla cookie crust, as you can tell, and it's topped with a vanilla bean whipped cream. You can see there's a second layer on top yeah. of the cheesecake. It's like three layers of vanilla. Mm -hmm. And there's white chocolate shavings here and even more whipped cream on the sides. All right, now I love vanilla. and This has three layers of vanilla, the crust, the cheesecake, and the whipped cream. That's perfect. Mm. Get a bit of this brownie wedge here. Got a little bit of everything on my spoon. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's a very fudgy brownie and has chocolate chips in it. So it's extra chocolatey. Mm. 
This is good. It's a really nice Sunday. So Red Lobster, we got the most expensive seafood at Red Lobster, the ultimate feast, and it was a feast. Hey, thanks for watching, everybody. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and be sure to subscribe for more. It's free.